Yo, my people, we're back again with another vlog. Palace taking on Wolves today. I'm kind of tired. I literally woke up like an hour and a half ago, which seems quite long, but trust me, it's not. And I woke up at 12 and it's probably, I think, like about flipping out like 1.30 now or something. So, yeah, Manchester United are beating Man Sorry, uh, losing 2 0 at home to Manchester City. So, Ollie's on his way out and he's at the wheel. So, yeah, not too, looking too good for United fans. Got my Palace kit on under there. As you could just about see, it's kind of cold and that, but yeah, look, I think remember it's a remember it's Sunday tomorrow, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. So there'll probably be like a couple of minutes of silence before silence before the game and that, but I can't get my words straight flipping off. <laughs> but now, listen, we got Wolves. I'm kind of I'm confident we beat Manchester City by two goals to nil last week and that away from home. Really good result. Let's just follow it, follow it on with a win today. Yeah, if we do that, that'll be a brilliant, you know, turnaround for us because. We obviously hasn't haven't lost a game in our last five. We've drawn four, won one. We need to, you know, start turning these draws into wins. We did against City. Let's follow it up today with a win. Hopefully against Wolves. I'm going two one Palace. Dad, what about you? What's your um, prediction? Prediction. I I I I'd say two one Palace. Two one Palace. Two one Palace. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. So yeah, he's optimistic like myself. So yeah, come on, you Eagles. Do not let us down. Let's get these three points. We're playing a Wolves side. I believe have won four of their last five. They're on form as well. They're winning more games than we are, so the momentum is up here. While ours may be around here and that, but equally, I think we'll give them a good game compared to Everton. who were pretty crap against them on Monday night because we'll beat Everton in their last match and that at home. So yeah, listen. As long as we compete with them, as long as we show passion, as long as we press, as long as we get our tactics right and perform out our skin, we'll get the three points. So come on, you Eagles. See you lot at Sellers Park in the stadium. <laughs> Yo, my people, so we're in the stadium now. The team lineup is in, in goal is Guy to her back for Ward, Mitchell, and Anderson, and Guy, two defensive midfielders, and McCarthy and Kiate. And in the number 10 row is Gallagher, and our front three is Hedgeward, Benteke, and Zaha. It's a good team. Would have liked to see at least a start, but maybe it's for tactical reasons. Ayu isn't playing. I don't think this is the game for him. This is the game we've got to win, we've got to take our chances, we've got to be on point. And I think our front three by Tech and Edward are capable of taking chances compared to maybe Ayu. And at least they maybe just needs a bit more experience. But it'll come on if things are going away. So come with you, fellas. And yeah, kickoff is underway soon. Let's get these three points. Tackle from Moutinho. Twala was through. Come on, yeah, book him. Yellow card and well deserved. What's your actual decent ref? Come on, man. Ref. Looks like Wolves got a man down with the head injury. What a chance. Love the run from Edward, giving it to Wilf. He moved back to Edward. Edward had a shot, keeping the spill it. Gallagher tried to put the rebound in the keeper court and now he's down injured. Didn't touch him one bit. Oh, oh, right on half time that was. We've got to take our chances to improve our pass game. At least they need to come on a half time for Adam Wilf. We're going to take it away, they're playing, I don't even know, but we got to sort it out. Yeah, if we're, if, if, uh, we look promising, but if we keep playing the way we're playing, we've got to get one in. Yeah. Well, Gallagher, what do you, what do you think? Um, played well, no, neither team's got any chances in them, but our final ball in the box, we just need to get, 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 get yeah. a good ball in the box so we get not, a goal. Not clinical enough in my opinion. Gallagher then just don't do a simple thing. Yeah. I know, yeah, if, no, turn. if he didn't pass, he just turned. Yeah, if he didn't turn, I find... I find that um, so a lot of Premiership players are coached to like just pass the ball. Yeah. It's, it's they should have had a shot. Going. Too and much time to stop They don't coach yeah. to just, I've got the ball, pass the ball. It's like, well, no, get your head up and have a look. 
said when I started I don't think there's any substitutions for us maybe for Wolves, I don't know could bring on Traore but if he does start to come on he's up to deal with him, it is what it is I'm not scared of him but you never know it's completely unexpected but we got to win, we got to dominate we got to take our chances, come on Palace Offside, it did look off to be fair. I kind of clocked it as well. I wonder what VAR is going to say to this, but you never know. Ah, it's not going to die it. No ball, I don't think. Oh, they're still checking it. Who knows? Who knows? Come on, Palace. Still checking it. But how long is it going to take? Five minutes? Come on, man. This is the goal that's been brilliant for us. Says coming on for Kiate, I think no. Yes, I don't even know. I'm not sure he's coming on. We'll see. I'll tell you in a minute though. Jason Clark coming off. The schlip. 
Ball's got a free kick. Oh, come on. Why do we do this to ourselves? We've got to manage this world, Palace. Come on. Oh, come on. Gaia, come on now. This way, the same is going to go slow, man. With an injury to Malice, he's done injury to go back to the face, so. Might be a bit added on. We should have it in the bag. I mean, we can't lose a two, a two goal lead in that space of three bits. We've had a time right now, you know what I mean? What, Burnley got a point at Chelsea? Burnley drew at Chelsea. Brentford are losing 2 1 to Norwich, but I mean, Brighton and Newcastle are playing later. We're still, we're still 2 0 up against Wolves, obviously. So, yeah. I mean, we'll see if we get the third, but I don't think it's going to happen. We've just got to see this game out. I'm just thinking it. Last few minutes of the game. Got to manage it well. Mr. Anderson's back up on his feet, seems alright. First hope we're going to get for over a month now. Doing well in the corner flag, doing what we do best, you know. Wasting time. Oh, it's still in. Can we get the third, Palace? Get the third! Oh, the flag nearly fell off, bloody. Oh, hey! Oh, it's cold kick, rubbish. Oh, there go, there go. Man on the match, you right there, man. Number 23. Sign him up. Yo, with my guy James, oh, what are your thoughts, man? Yes, what a game. Speak I told truth, you at half time, <laughs> we would do it if we kept yeah, playing yeah. like that. If we just got to keep this win streak up, and then we'll just easily get top yeah, 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Do you think any chance of Europa League possibly, man? No, no, no. Maybe not so. this season, maybe next season. Who knows, who knows. be a brilliant result. I'm buzzing. Going to Burnley away next after the international break. Brilliant result. Dominate the game. Like I said, I think I might have said it already, but Wolves had five minutes of good play. They had the VAR penalty turned down. A free kick that was come to be saved by Vicente Gaita. But listen, we believe it. We keep on fighting and we keep on winning right now. And the way we're playing, we're going to finish well this season. We just need to keep it up for the whole season, not stop at Christmas and then yeah. just fall asleep for the second half of the season, which we've done in recent years. Got to keep believing. Got to keep steady. Come with your Palace. I'm really happy right now and I'm buzzing, brother. But yeah, we're just leaving now. We got my guy James there. Listen, we're playing the wall side if one night before the game. We've won four out of five and we just dominated and played above the park. We're unbeaten in six. One defeat in our last eight. It's looking pretty good for Palace. We just need to keep it up for a whole season, like I said. If we can stay consistent, maybe make a couple signings in Jan. Hopefully we don't get any injuries. If that goes all to plan and we have a bit of good luck on our side, we'll do really well. It's really looking good. The positive vibes are back at Palace for once. Come on, man. All right, before we leave, I've got some really good news just for now. Where are we in the league, Dan, and who are we above? We are ninth in the league, and, and who we, we are above? above Tottenham. Tottenham get battered everywhere they go. I sound like I'm drunk now, but the real talk, um, to be in the top 10 now is brilliant. I thought at the beginning of the season we looked like we were battling for relegation. Didn't you think so? Yeah, I thought, you know, but we, we've good performances, but we've now got some good results now, so which Come is good. Come on, yes. So, yeah, we're going to the Burnley away game. If we win that, that'll be three wins in a row. Um, and then we've got Villa after that, and I think we've got Leeds after that as well. It's, it's going to go on. The games are never easy. we just got to compete and show passion and desire like we did today, and then we'll win. So come on, you Palace. See you lot for the Burnley game. Maybe possibly another video between that. Who knows? I'm not going to make any promises yet. But yeah, come on, you Eagles. Love to the boys. Brilliant. Do not let us down for the remainder of the season. Come on, Val.